Turkey Alashiki continues to prove that nobody got a backbone anymore in boxing. Turkey Alashiki continues to prove that everybody got a price in boxing. The man posted this up on Twitter today. It says, today marks a new era for Ring Magazine. Stay tuned. Oscar De La Hoya is the owner of Ring Magazine. So what could Turkey Alashiki possibly mean with this post? Is Turkey Alashiki trying to say that he bought Ring Magazine from Oscar De La Hoya? I did get death threats. I'm not saying I had any respect for Ring Magazine anyway. Oscar De La Hoya was the owner. Now imagine if Turkey Alashiki owns Ring Magazine. They definitely not getting no respect. And I definitely believe in Jesus. Speaking of guys who get no respect in boxing, Shakur Stevenson said on Twitter, I'm bringing my PlayStation 5 to Philly and Virginia. Whoever wants smoking 2K for some bread, let me know. This confirms what I've been saying about this dude. Shakur Stevenson plays video games. Let me repeat that. If you play video games eight hours a day, to me, you ain't nothing but a lame. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Shakur Stevenson be sitting in that gamer chair butt naked as hell like he was in this video. Shakur Stevenson, a.k.a. the Gamer Lamer. Fuck everybody that got something to say about me. Speaking of Shakur Stevenson, the man who sleeps in the same bed as Shakur Stevenson, I'm talking about Keyshawn Davis in an interview with Cigar Talk. Najee from Cigar Talk posts on Twitter. Keyshawn Davis says that Tank can't up with him. Says Coach Kenny is worried in hopes that he leaves 135 and goes to 140 so the fight does not happen. Keyshawn Davis got a fight coming up. He trying to promote his fight, but he know damn well that Javante Davis is not scared of him. You's a real fake nigga. Javante Davis seen a post and he told Najee from Cigar Talk to stop D eating and that Keyshawn Davis fights on a Friday night. He not even worth talking about. He called Keyshawn Davis a bitch and told him to do something about it. Mediocre. Then Tank told Najee from Cigar Talk, you ain't getting no more interviews ever again. We already ready to go to 40. Najee from Cigar Talk said, yo, I was just doing an interview. I hope you change your mind in the future. And he is still a big fan of Javante Tank Davis. Maybe Javante Tank Davis sees Keyshawn Davis as Shakur Stevenson's best buddy. Maybe Javante Davis sees it as Keyshawn Davis is in the same gang as Shakur Stevenson. Y'all know they sleep in the same bed together. I got a right to my opinion, and in my personal opinion, Keyshawn Davis and Shakur Stevenson is way too close. And on top of that, Keyshawn Davis been disrespecting Javante. Ain't nobody scared of Keyshawn Davis, just like nobody is scared of Shakur Stevenson. For example, Keyshawn Davis said that Shakur Stevenson was helping him when he was in a mental home because he almost ended his life while going through mental health issues and that is way bigger than boxing between him and Shakur Stevenson. That is why Keyshawn Davis and Shakur Stevenson will never fight each other. They best buddies and like I said, I heard they sleep in the same bed. Why Key? Why? Shakur seen a post and he said for life broski it's showtime champ. This is why I respect fighters like Errol Spence and Javante Davis. Errol Spence said, there are no friends in the sport of boxing. There is no such thing as a friend in the sport of boxing. There is no such thing as a friend in life in general. The sooner you find that out, the safer y'all will be mentally. But some of y'all don't get that. Shakur Stevenson and Keyshawn Davis got a whole lot to learn. Bum ass nigga. Mike Tyson once said, if somebody is really your friend, in the sport of boxing then they gonna fight you so y'all could both get a big bag of money to help support y'all families then Shakur Stevenson saw fast reposted this it is Jarrell Miller the man who tested positive for PEDs the man was talking about him fighting one of his homies and he said yo I hated to punch my homie in the face his kids was in the crowd watching if you don't get your soft ass up out of here what is it with y'all from the East Coast? Y'all be soft as hell. This is why I say the only city out the East Coast that I respect is Baltimore, Maryland. Javante Davis is proving to y'all that every single one of y'all out the East Coast soft as hell. <laughs> This makes me go back to this post from Marcus Brown, the man who got knocked out by Arthur Better BF. Marcus Brown said, boxers ain't gangster. They spend their entire life in a boxing gym. 
Ain't no way you could be in the street and in the gym for real. He talking to Shakur Stevenson and Keyshawn Davis. Acting like y'all some type of gangsters. Both y'all soft as head. Shakur don't got power. Sometimes you gotta assess the situation and consider the source. All this is coming from Shakur Stevenson, a man who make people fall asleep at his fights. All this is coming from Shakur Stevenson, a man who made his home city walk out the arena booing because he's a boring fighter. All this is coming from Shakur Stevenson, a man who said he was finna fly Greg Hackett whole team to Chicago, Illinois to come and do something to me and didn't do a damn thing. All this is coming from Shakur Stevenson, a man who admitted that he played video games. Who made the most money? Who made the most money? I said it before I say it again. You are a reflection of your favorite fighter. If you gravitate towards a fighter like Shakur Stevenson, more than likely you just as soft as Shakur Stevenson. I stand on what I say. Sunday it is. Then Shakur Stevenson had the audacity to respond to an interview with Edwin De Los Santos, the man that he ran all 12 rounds from on a Thursday because Shakur Stevenson fights on Thursdays because the man is not an attraction. Shakur Stevenson said with one hand, I beat the most dangerous fighter in the division and I love it. First off, Edwin De Los Santos is not the most dangerous fighter at 135. Gervonta Tank Davis is. That's why you scared. Talking about nobody else stepped up to fight him since. They can say what they want. But I read between the lines and I see the respect. Hey, yo, Shakur Stevenson, you gets no respect, bro. How you gonna claim you got respect in a fight that you literally ran all 12 rounds in? This dude does not make any sense at all whatsoever. But then again, Shakur Stevenson played video games all day. The man do butt naked call outs. It hurts. You're not a pay-per-view star. I said it before. I will say it again. Javante Davis, Ryan Garcia, even Devin Haney all had pay-per-view fights. Shakur Stevenson, you cannot put on pay-per-view because the man is boring. You would be out your damn mind to push a Shakur Stevenson on pay-per-view because nobody is going to pay on pay-per-view to watch Shakur Stevenson fight. Theofimo Lopez might get on pay-per-view quicker than Shakur Stevenson because Shakur Stevenson is the most boring slash softest fighter to ever exist. Soft as hell. Sunday it is. Adapt into your situation and keep it pushing, bro. That's it.